is a beautiful spring day on the north coast of California, which is perfect because today in painting, we're going to talk about learning from nature and we have it all around us. What an amazing place to live and to paint. So you can see on the canvas behind me, I've already started to block in the composition. So let's get started.
And so fast forward for a bit. I've taken some time to look at those flowers especially and kind of put some white everywhere that flowers are going to be even though they will end up being all different colors. I wanted to look at the composition. So I put the white down against the dark colors to be able to see exactly uh, what that will look like because in nature uh, it's kind of a unified variety. There's a randomness but yet there is uh, an order and design. Uh, there's just an amazing, amazing amount of lessons that we can learn right from nature. Uh, I'm going to look at the different colors here. I've added some, you can see some warm hues to some of the greens. One of the mistakes we make often when we start to paint nature is we paint everything bright green. Very little is bright green. If you really take a look at the colors around you, the colors that you see, there's a lot of browns in them, some reds, some golds, some yellows, and in the shadows, you're going to see purples and blues. Again, as I said in an earlier video, especially when it look, we look at the color in nature, we need to stop looking at what we think we see, but look at the colors that we really see. You know, we uh, have the, the song Purple Mountain's Majesty, uh, and we can see in the background that, yep, mountains really do appear to be purple. Uh, so anyway, we're, we're fine-tuning the colors here. We're looking at the composition. And what's different about painting nature and uh, something that has a far-off focus is we certainly cannot paint every little leaf, every little petal, uh, every pine needle. We need to know what they look like as they are clumped together in groups and to really look at it with a different kind of eye than we would looking at a portrait or looking at uh, a still life, something up close. We need to see the basic geometric shapes and uh, again just really pay attention to the value. The value is the difference between dark and light on a scale. Uh, for example, if you want to know if your values are correct, take a black and white picture of the painting and then look at it next to a colored picture and you'll see if your values are correct. Lots to learn, a long way to go, but just wanted to pause and talk about this for a bit.
So there's a ways to go yet on this painting, painting nature. But as you can see from the demonstration, we started with some bold blocking in of basic colors and shapes and have worked it and worked it until it's more detailed, more color, more shape, and that will continue through the end of the painting. For example, uh, these colors of purple will change and there'll be more varied colors. Um, and that will be through all the painting because what is true here is different here and there color-wise because the world is filled with color and light. Just think about it. If you put up a prism, you can see all kinds of different vibrant colors. So the great thing about learning from nature is an observation in really looking with wonder, with fresh eyes, about everything that we see, the shape, the, the color, the intricacy of design, flowers alone, and, and how many varied types there are, just amazing. It opens our minds to uh, a childlike wonder, and hopefully that we don't lose that. Um, this scene was painted from uh, some friends of mine who have an amazing uh, Dahlia Farm, really, in the, in the springtime and in the summer. Uh, it's so beautiful and uh, it has a ways to go. But anyway, wanted to share that process with you and hope that you enjoy observing the things around you, really taking time to look at look and look again and discovering again what you really see, not just what you think you see. When I think of observation and uh, nature and creation, I'm drawn to this verse in the book of Romans in the New Testament. It says, from the beginning, creation in its magnificence enlightens us to his nature, meaning God's. Creation itself makes his undying power and divine identity clear, even though they are invisible. We can see the handiwork of God all around us. All we have to do is look. So enjoy painting, enjoy observing nature, and just getting caught up in the wonder and uh, the colors and the shapes you see. And uh, it's good to be with you. Bye-bye. <laughs>